I think one of the big features of, of the uh, response to this crisis has been the huge fiscal stimulus that we've seen go out there. And a lot of cash that's gone into the hands of families. And one of the ways to, to look at what's happening today with this uh, unemployment cliff, if you will, is that you're removing a huge piece of that stimulus. There's seven and a half million people uh, who are essentially going to lose the income that they've been surviving on. And I say surviving because uh, for a lot of these people, life remains incredibly difficult, incredibly tenuous. They're looking for work, uh, but they're struggling to pay bills. They're struggling to get back to any kind of of, of meaningful work. And we have this idea also that this is this kind of smooth process uh, that when Washington passes uh, an unemployment benefits bill or some kind of stimulus bill, that the money immediately pops up in people's uh, bank accounts. And it's just not the case. I, I spent the summer talking to a huge number of people out there who are still waiting for the benefits that they're owed. Uh, if you talk to people like Laura Ulrich in Maryland, who in January lost her job where she was literally managing the distribution of coins for an armored car company, and uh, she applied for unemployment in March, uh, she received two quick payments, and then nothing. Uh, and it wasn't until last week after we raised her case with the, the governor's office here in Maryland that she uh, finally got the $11,000 in back unemployment uh, that she was owed. Oh.